Alright guys, there's one more thing that we gotta do to our website uh, before we can call it done. And that's give it a fave icon. Uh, fave icon is one of these things up top here. See, Google has one, Blogger has one, Simple Viewer has one, I have one. Um, so let's, let's make one. Uh, you could draw one in here if you really wanted, uh, but that's pretty hard. So we're going to make one in Photoshop real quick. Uh, fave icons are 16 pixels by 16 pixels, or 32 by 32, either one. Um, let's make one that's 16 by 16, because that's more standard. So let's open up Photoshop and make one that's 16 by 16. Okay. Uh, it's pretty tiny. Um, I'm thinking, why don't I write out my name? It's my website, I could write out my name. Ben. If you zoom out, you can kind of see it. Ben. There you go. Um, maybe I'll grab something from here. Uh, just gonna flatten it. Uh, what if I took this color? Yeah, this will be cool. And I do this. good enough for me. I mean, you could have like a little tiny icon of a flower or whatever you want, but my name is uh, pretty cool, pretty tiny. It'll work. So what we're going to do is save this out as a PNG. So, fave icon, place that one. Okay, and new one, import image, choose file, go find that fave icon, there we go, and upload it, there it is, and it even gives you a little preview of what it will look like down here, so just click download, and it downloads it, um, I'm going to pause this real quick, Alright, I'm back, and uh, I've got my fave icon, and uh, let's just throw it in the root of the website, so right here, okay, and there's one more thing that we have to do, we have to add a line of code to each one of these pages, and uh, here's that line of code, it's link rel equals um, quotes shortcut space icon quotes space href equals quotes um, and then the path of the icon uh, end quotes uh, greater than okay so we need to paste that in right underneath where our CSS is so So it's just fave icon, and I'm going to copy this and save it and paste it in here. It's the same code on all of these, so it'll be the same, except for on the portfolio. It'll be a little different for the portfolio one. Um, okay, so this one's portfolio. So it'll be dot dot slash fave icon. Um, yeah. 
that's just because the portfolio is in a different uh, it's in a different folder so it has to go back one folder to find it so that should be good so we can preview this and there's our fav icon right there and it should show up on all of these pages uh, doesn't look like it showed up on the contact page it's Oh, I didn't save it, that's why. Let's try it again. Okay, contact, there we go. Cool, so it's working on all of them. Now it's time to upload it. Um, I was playing around with this earlier, and I honestly, I don't really use Dreamweaver that much uh, to upload files. Usually I, I use an external program like um, FileZilla. FileZilla is a really good one. I recommend it. Uh, you can download it for free. It's open source. It works on all platforms. Uh, you don't want this one. This one's the server. You want the client. So just click on the client and then download uh, you know whatever OS you're working on. Um, and the setup is the same pretty much as what we did in Dreamweaver. You just have to go to Site Manager um, and then new site, um, my awesome site, and the host is ftp.ringling.edu, port 22, protocol is sftp, login type normal, B Jones and your password, okay, easy enough. Um, so, I'll, I'll just use Dreamweaver to upload it, but I'm going to have to set the permissions of each one of these files to be uh, 775 so that anyone can access it. Um, I'll do that in FileZilla, but I'll just upload it uh, right here in, in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to delete what I already have up there because I don't need it. Just gonna delete those. Um, I think it's mad at me because I have files all connected right now. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm gonna. I might have actually already deleted them. Yeah, they're already deleted. Cool. So we're just gonna select all of our files and click this little up arrow to put the files up to Ringling and that'll upload them uh, yes so that's going to take a while so I'm going to pause the video and I'll unpause it when it's done alright so it just finished uh, uploading uh, so let's switch over well let me show you let me show you what's up and why I don't want to do this in Dreamweaver um, by default, at Ringling, um, everything you upload to your web space is uh, kind of like locked down uh, with security. So you can't view any of these pages by default. And to make it so that you can actually see them, you have to set the permissions. So if I right click, uh, well, if I switch from local view to remote view, and right click on um, one of the web pages and set the permissions, to be uh, 755, that's read, it's all the reads, uh, only the owner can write, and everyone can execute. Okay, so just set that. Uh, now, if we go online to my web space at Ringling, so uh, www.ringling.edu tilde b jones. Okay. The only thing that loads is uh, the YouTube video and the text. Uh, nothing else really loads. That's because all of these files, it's preventing you from accessing. And you can select multiple ones and do it. 
But the problem is, uh, it, it's not going inside these folders. It's just doing uh, the files that are um, in the folder that you're selecting. Uh, looks like we're having some trouble here. Awesome. Okay, Dreamweaver just crashed, which is fine, because we weren't going to use it anyway. Uh, we had just finished using it, so it's okay. Uh, so we'll switch over to FileZilla. And go to my web space. And scroll down to public HTML. And I can select all the website files and do go away <laughs> and do um, file permissions 775 and then you want to check this recursive into subdirectories apply to all files and directories so that'll set every file to be 775 or 755 I'm sorry added an extra 7 in there uh, it's 755 Or, yeah, seven. <laughs> it's late. Um, so it's setting all of those files so that we can view them. And I think I'll pause the video and wait for it to finish. Okay, that didn't take long. Uh, so I'm going to open that up and I'll refresh the page. And there we go. Everything's all loaded up, everything's where it should be. Uh, about portfolio and you notice we have a fav icon I've got DSL so it's it's rather slow okay uh, blog cool and contact uh, yeah everything's working So that that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys had a, a fun time watching. I know it was pretty long, um, but I just wanted to show the entire process. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Ben Jones. I'll see you later.